Hi everybody, it's such an honor for me to present your research work here. Uh, in this work, we present a variational approach for document level sentiment classification. Before everything, let's review the task from first. The document level sentiment classification, aka DSC, is a task to determine the sentiment polarity of a document such as below. Um, <clears throat> the rating is the sentiment polarity. Okay, uh, uh, in this work we, may, uh, we majorly study one major ca characteristic of uh, DSC, which is mostly neg ne neglected by prior work. Um, that's it. Uh, generally one uh, the overall sentiment polarity of a doc of one document text is uh, derived from several detailed opinions towards each fine grade targets. Uh, in the, uh, so, uh, for example, in this document, we we we, we have uh, totally five aspects, such as saturation, food, facility, room, value, and usually. Uh, when people read the review document, rating a review document, they always first secure all targets or aspects and the, the corresponding opinions and then determine the overall rating. So, in this work, we consider leverage such five grade information, the targets and the opinion for, for improving the performance of the task. Uh, before that, uh, we need to handle two clu uh, crucial que questions. The first one is how to acquire such fine grade information. The second one is how to leverage the fine grade information into the DSC task. And from these two questions, we, uh, we construct our framework. And <clears throat> here it is. Uh, for the first question, uh, how to acquire such fine grade information, <coughs> we first can see, uh, we first need to uh, handle two challenges. The first one is we have no direct access to the targets as well as the opinion or annotation on the existing data sets, and in the <coughs> also in the in the data sets, the targets and the opinions cannot be observed directly. I mean, they can can they can be expressed either explicitly or implicitly. <clears throat> so uh, our solution is uh, we model the target opinion pairs as latent variables, and those latent target opinion pairs also have their own distributions, and uh, we model them as a uh, caution distribution. And we illustrate such uh, observation in, in, the, in the picture here. <clears throat> and specifically, we model the latent target opinion as hierarchical variables that follow multivariate caution distribution. Yeah. First, we have uh, the global level variable to capture the overall fine grade opinion distribution based on the uh, the reconstruction of the document opinion back of words uh, we call the opinion back of words as uh, a ball and we represent the global app variable as CD and in the other hand we we have the local level variable ZS and to model the detailed opinion cruise retrieval at the word level so here is our model. We first consider the variation of outer encoder, like VAE, to learn the latent distribution unsupervisedly by reconstructing the input document. And in our, in our practice, uh, we actually adopt the condition of vari variation outer encoder, the CVAE, to integrate the user product background information. So Let's check the the overall framework of our model. 
in the left part is the global level part module, and the, in the right part is the local level part. Uh, for the global level part, uh, we mainly learn the global level variable, <coughs> and uh, we use we first uh, use two separate feed forward n network to learn the the key uh, the major two parameter of the caution prior mu and the sigma and then we perform sampling to <coughs> to get the uh, latent variable zd and then we based on the zd uh, use another uh, feed forward layer to reconstruct the inputs of both feature so that that is the story of the global level module and the local level module is similar with the global level one but uh, it, it has uh, uh, several differences the first is we use uh, BIOSTM as the encoder and uh, the second we by performing the by performing the sampling to obtain the, uh, the latent variable ZS uh, we actually inject the ZD the, the document uh, the, <coughs> the global level variable into the uh, sampling process and then we use another BIOSM to reconstruct reconstruct it, uh, <coughs> the inputs uh, we have uh, as 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 I mentioned before earlier uh, we actually inject the global level information into the local level and so 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 as to make the learning of the fine grade opinion close at local level uh, to be get it uh, closely relevant to the focused targets which have been determined only at the global level and we perform the variational training um, via the reparameter reparameter parameterization trick and we major uh, we, we mainly learn the variational evidence lower bounds for for the corresponding to variational targets okay for the second question how to leverage the fine grained information into the DSA and we consider the transformer uh, uh, classifier for the prediction of the review text <coughs> and it also uh, includes uh, I mean it is also here a hierarchical level transformer the sentence level transformer and the uh, local level transformer word level transformer the uh, sentence level transformer takes global level representation from the uh, variational um, parts and the word level transformer takes lower level prioritization from the from the corresponding uh, variational parts uh, here let's take the uh, take some details of the uh, the framework and uh, <coughs> okay for the time re restriction we don't spend uh, we, we don't dig into uh, too much detail so uh, let's check the training strategy the overall training and we major we majorly minimize the cross entropy uh, loss for the for the uh, classification task and also we perform the warm start training strategy <coughs> like we first uh, pre-train the variation module and then jointly train both the variational and the classification module and we keep such loop until the overall framework converges <coughs> okay let's check the uh, experiments <coughs> and uh, we perform our experiments based on major two uh, three data sets which are all benchmarked for DSA and uh, we also perform the pre-processing for obtaining the all ball features okay for time for time for time limitation we don't 
We don't give. We can't give too much details. Please check our technique paper for more details. Okay, so let's check the main result. <coughs> and from the result, uh, from the table result in the table, uh, we majorly gain three conclusion. The first one is the neural based models are much better than the tra traditional machine learning models, and the second one is. Those methods, those methods leveraging the user product features much more better than that without UPS. And most importantly, our proposed model is of the, the variational model. I mean, it's of greatest effectiveness against the best baseline, and with big margins across all data sets in terms of both two uh, metrics. Okay, uh, also from the uh, ablation results, we also uh, validate uh, <coughs> uh, the contribution from each part of our methods. And besides, uh, we, <coughs> we, we also take the advantage of the, the most uh, prominent uh, pre trained contextual language model, the BERTS. And uh, all models still keep the best performance with BERT over baselines. And uh, afterwards, uh, we consider show, uh, showing the fine grained result on the error deviation. <coughs> we make comparison with the, the best uh, baseline. And uh, from the result, we learned that uh, the, the different uh, uh, that our model commits much lower errors for the high, highly written scores than the other type of uh, written scores. And uh, this reflects the robustness of our variational model on the data scarcity. <coughs> okay, let's check the effect of the training strategy. And via these two experiments, we we uh, we validate that or or proposed alternating training and uh, the worm starting training is of great uh, effectiveness. <coughs> okay, we also study the dimension of uh, two latent variables. Uh, well, <coughs> uh, we uh, overall we find that. Uh, <coughs> To e either too large or too small size uh, of latent variables equally hurts the performance, and uh, so we take um, four four hundred uh, dimension only of Z D and two two hundred fifteen dimension only of Z S. <coughs> also, we perform the visualization of the latent variable. Uh, where we note. Uh, that the local level variable uh, representation ZS are more diverse, diversified for capturing the fine grain targets and opinion groups. So here is the DS. <coughs> and uh, we, we also gain some interesting observation. <coughs> okay, uh, next, uh, next we also show some, uh, some latent Targets and opinion keywords in 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 inductive uh, by all uh, by all model <coughs> and uh, we we find that uh, those those induced keywords are the aspect of opinion expression, which are all the strong clues for directly indicating the corresponding targets, and this validates our. Uh, models uh, superiority. Okay, thanks. Thanks for watching.